Whoa, that looks bad. Hey everyone, Henry Yellow here, welcome back. Right now we are going to watch Holes from 2003. I just watched The Flight of the Navigator before this. And in fact, today I actually picked The Flight of the Navigator and Holes to watch. But I didn't know that these two movies are by Walt Disney. So I guess I just coincidentally picked the two movies which are Walt Disney movies. If you enjoy my reactions on YouTube and you would love to watch my full reaction and just watch along with me, then I highly recommend you check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below because on Patreon, you get to watch my full reaction much, much earlier than the YouTube version that comes out on YouTube. So go check it out. You got to go make those holes. Whoa, what are they digging these holes for? Ain't that bad? Come on, man! Far back! He chose to end it? It must be terrible conditions they're working in. Oh. All my life, I seem to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's all because of this 150 year old curse. <laughs> Why would you smell it? Did you steal those shoes? I'm sorry, I didn't do anything. Where'd you get those shoes? What's your name, boy? I'm Stanley. My father, Stanley Elnass III, is an inventor. He's been trying to find a cure for foot odor. <laughs> You're gonna be sorry you ever messed with Stanley Elnass. Let me see that. Just don't grab it out of the hands. Why not? Where did the shoes come from, anyway? Could I just smell your shoe? How about if you take your shoe Tough off and I'll just... Here it is. We got it. We share the room. You got what? All because of your no good, dirty, rotten, big stealing great-great-grandfather. We don't need a damn good lawyer. We don't need a lawyer, Stanley. We'll just tell the truth. Stanley Yelnats, please rise. Stanley Yelnats, the fourth. <laughs> They're all named Stanley Yelnats. There he is currently. A vacancy at Camp Green Lake. The choice is yours. He didn't steal a thing. Man, how do you get blamed for shoes that fall out of the sky? Mike, what are they digging these holes for? I hope it's to plant trees. Or maybe they're looking for treasure. Oh, okay. Where's the lake? Hey, what did I just tell you? Don't be a wise guy. It is called Camp Green Lake. What's with the sunflower seeds, man? I give up smoking. Good for you. Everyone in my family names their son Stanley because it's Yelnats backwards. Oh, it is. Good name. My name is Mr. Sir. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Sir. Clear, Mr. Sir. Here. We well, are a big trick. You're gonna be thirsty for the next 18 months. Doesn't nobody run away from here. You know why? There's no way to run to. Our own oh. little oasis. You wanna run away? Them buzzards will pick you clean by the end of the third day. A hundred miles? You were to dig one hole each day. Five foot deep, five foot in diameter. Your shovel is your measuring stick. Keep alert for lizards and snakes. Rattlesnakes. If you don't want to get bit by a yellow spotted lizard, you will die a slow and painful death. Yellow spotted lizard. You may have done some bad things, but that does not make you a bad kid. I respect you, Stanley. I'm Dr. Pendansky, your counselor. Hi. Yo, my name is X-Ray, and that's Squid, that's Armpit. They all have their little nicknames. Oh. Bark back slip here. Keep your bed clean. I'm Magni. That's zigzag. I'm not gonna remember these names. You wanna know why they call him Zero? Cause there's nothing going on in his stupid little head. It should be no labor to be nice to your name. Hey, Theodore. I know he smells that. Joe, my name is not Theodore. It's our pit. That looks like it's gonna give someone diarrhea. So you didn't dig today. You wouldn't mind giving up your bread to somebody who did, not would you? So what'd they get you for? Stealing a pair of shoes. <laughs> I'd love you some shoes. Sweetie. What? 
Did they have red X's on them? Yes, you got zero to talk. Yeah, they did. I don't understand what type of person steals from homeless children. You know, fan of mine. Got framed. He got framed so bad. All because of your no good, dirty, rotten, big stealing great great grandfather. You need luck. Something we ain't got. What about your father, the first Stanley Yale man? He made a fortune in the stock market. He was robbed by kissing Kate Baller. She kiss him? Oh no, she what? only kissed the men she killed. Wow. Left them stranded in the desert. No water, no food for 16 days. How did he survive without water for 16 days? I mean, everyone else died except him. So, not sure if you count that unlucky or lucky. Okay, come and get it. Library. Full of shovels. Ain't no dreamland, Dennis. It's reality. What kind of tortilla is that? If the warden like what you find, you get the rest of the day off. What am I supposed to be looking for, Mr. Sir? You're not looking for anything. Take a bad boy, make him dig holes all day in the hot sun, turns him into a good boy. <laughs> That's a bunch of nonsense. Clearly the warden is looking for something. Something is buried somewhere within these hundred miles. They're putting... Soil back in his hole. Excuse me, can you throw in another pile of stuff? Shut up, man. shut up. Watch what you throw in the dirt, Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> and you yell that. He goes to a fortune teller, uh, Madame Zeroni, for advice. Go to America. That's where my son is. That's your future. Not violent. Your head's as empty as a flower pot. Rieger Barkov has offered his fattest pig for her. Oh. What do you got? Heart full of love. I'd rather have a fat pig. <laughs> Take the little one. Carry the pig up the mountain. Make it drink the water from the stream while you see. If only, if only the woodpecker sigh. After you give the pig to Menke, carry Madame Zaroni up the mountain and sing while I drink. If you forget to come back for Madame Zaroni, your family will be cursed for always and eternity. So he didn't go back to Madame Zaroni. He didn't repay his debt. Who do you choose? Igor Barkov or Ilya Yelnitz? It's an obvious choice, isn't it? Gee, I don't know. Which pig weighs more? They are the same. You can keep my pig as venting place. Yeah, that's right. I think he made the right choice though. He dodged a bullet there. He took Madame Zeroni's advice and went to America, but the dummy forgot to go back and carry Madame Zeroni up the mountain. Don't move. Ooh. Dang, running on his hind legs. Looks like a dinosaur too. Like the one from Jurassic Park. Did you know that each one's got exactly 11 spots? If you ever get close enough to count them. <laughs> Dear mom, I'm having a wonderful time at camp. The food's great. Of course, he lies to his mom. Love, your son, Stan. Who you ride, sir? Give me the letter. Believe me, the glad to be rid of you. Hey, just because you're terrible parents doesn't mean others are the same. Found something. If I find something interesting, I get the day off. The warden isn't interested in fossils. So what is he interested in? Guess there really was a lake out here once, right? The warden's grandfather owned the lake and half the town. Onions! Get your onions here, folks! Oh, that's the guy. Too bad he didn't know yellow spotted lizards don't like my onion juice. I have this special bag of onions. Thank you. And your peaches? Thank you. So sad that the lake dried up. You ever find anything? Give it to me, you understand? You know what I'm saying? It's only fair. Right? He's just being a bully. Watch it! I didn't mean to hit you. Hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 hey just chill, okay, man. I was crazy. You understand me? Mm. Zero was ready. Hey, you come, okay, man? Whoa, okay, man. Whoa. Whoa. That's his new nickname. Better than barf bag. 
You end up. Okay, man, all right. Can I start now, your highness? The landlord is threatening to evict us because of the odor. I feel so sorry for the old lady who lived in the shoe. It must have smelled real bad. <laughs> wow, the children's songs. They're like the nursery rhyme. Right, the nursery rhyme. I can't read. Oh. Do you want to learn? I'm not really uh, a good teacher. I get tired from digging all day, so. We can start with the ABC song. And maybe we'll get lucky. A bullet. Hey, hey X. I think I might have found something. See that? With the letters in it? Oh. Right there? Yeah. KB. Let me That's see. It is. Let me see. Maybe I get the rest of the day off. Your hole's already dug. I mean, I'm not even close. I'm going to be out here all day. Yes, so? Why don't you just turn it in tomorrow? Then you get the whole day off. It's good thinking, K, man. Hmm. Hey, Lou? You better get down here. Right over there. The warden's a, a woman. It can't be that kiss something, right? Dr. Pendansky, drive x-ray back to camp. Fill everyone's canteen. I already filled them. Did I ask you when you last filled them? Did you by any chance take a drink <clears throat> since he filled your canteen? Oh, I'm fine. I had plenty. Just say yes, bro. We're gonna dig this dirt twice. I'm gonna be a wheel someday. I'm gonna be so hmm. They don't know it's the wrong hole. We don't want to miss anything. Heck, every rock now. Make sure it's a real rock. I can fix that. I'll fix that room. In exchange for three jars of your spice peaches. I guarantee that roof for five years. The windows won't open. I can fix that. <laughs> How about me and you uh, have a little picnic? No, thank you, Mr. Walker. No one ever says no to try Walker. I believe I just did. Digging toward the center, Steve. That's how we do it. Yeah. Whoa, they did a good job on the digging. Sam, this is the finest schoolhouse in all of Texas. Hello, my friend, it's been Only two or two You're blinded by the eyes of you How can you fix that? Well, I feel Ooh, he just had to come by this time Four long days and this is all you jackasses got to show for it I want to see some effort here Or I'll put a hurt on you Just because he got jealous and couldn't get the girl, he's gonna burn her whole house down. Quick, the the school! It ain't against the law for you to kiss him. Just for him to kiss you. Against the law. When, what period is this? Oh, dang. What if Sam was actually the madame's son? Morning, sir. You still want that kiss? Ooh, she's here for revenge. No. She is the kiss something, and she stole from Stanley Yell, that's the first. I got a story for you Girl Scouts. Once upon a time. It was a magical place where it never rained. The end. Anybody want some sunflower seeds? Uh oh. Catch it. Oh, stay on your butterfinger. How did that get there? Still out of your truck. I think maybe the warden liked to see what you found. Why did he take the blame? Hey, what are you doing, dog? Hey, man. I found a little something in man's hole. I snuck into his truck and uh, stole his sunflower seeds. Yeah. I think she's probably going to be pissed why that he would bring this to her. Because she doesn't care. They think they're a step ahead of me, but I'm miles ahead of them. They're kissing Kate Barlow. Like this is my special nail polish. Rail snake venom. It's perfectly harmless. Until you scratch someone. When it's dry. Ah! Oh no. I suggest 
you go back to your home. And... Thank you, guys. Don't look at us. Yeah, zero. Why'd you dig my hole, man? You didn't steal the sunflower seeds. Yeah, but neither did you. You didn't steal the shoes. Still want to learn to read? A good deed is repaid in kind. Whoa. Whoa, that looks bad. I think I'm kind of purdy, don't you? Yes, sir. He's not gonna want to mess with Stanley ever again. You thirsty, Elliot? Oh, nope. He's messing with him, all right. I think that the tube was a tube of lipstick. KB stands for Kate Barlow. Yeah, that makes sense. She hunted them all down for revenge for Sam. I will survive. Sure. You know Zero's not my real name. My name's Hector. Hector Zeroni. My mom had problems, but she would try so hard to make a better life for us. Yeah. Then one day she didn't come back. I would hire a whole team of private investigators just to find her, but to find out what happened to her. Where's your whip cave, man? Don't you want your slave to be slacking off. It's not slavery, it's agreement. Yeah, man, what up? Hold on. Hey. How about I give you my cookie? You let me dig your hole. Look, I get it, all right? I'll dig my own hole from now on. Eat the cookie. Go on, Stanley. Teach him a lesson. Hit him back. Go on, hit me. Hit him. Oh, Ooh, dang. Even Podansky is, like, encouraging this crap. Hey, stop. 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 Hey, Why'd you start it in the first place? Why'd you encourage it in the first place? Working all day out in the hot sun. You know, a caveman sits around and does nothing. Excuse me? Zero's been digging a part of caveman's hole every day. You're not digging holes no more? I'm, I'm teaching him how to read. Oh yeah? He's so stupid, he doesn't even know he's stupid. Okay, I don't want anyone digging anyone else's hole. And no more reading lessons. Well, why can't I still just dig my hole and teach him how to read? Because I said so. It's all you'll ever be good for. B I G. What's that spell? Oh. Oh. Dig. Well, where is he running off to? Well, Podansky was actually asking for it. Are we sure that he had no family? He had nobody. He was nobody. I want you to destroy his records. No one cares about Hector Zeroni. I do. His blood's on your hands, eh? Hmm. This whole place is... No water, no food for 16 days. How would he survive? They said he found refuge on God's thumb. It's God's thumb. Who knows? So what you in here for, Twitch? Oh, you think I'm jumpy now? You should have seen me behind the wheel of that Mustang convertible. <laughs> Oh, I see. I'm gonna get him to steal his car. Oh, they all planned it. That's not fast enough. Hit the gas, hit the gas harder. Yo. Oh yeah, that's gotta feel good. Oh, I was just gonna tell him to watch out for holes. Well, you done it now. There ain't gonna be no young last affair. Dang. It does look like 11 spots. In two weeks, we will report he's run away. Nothing left to find. That's exactly right. Of course, they can easily cover up their traces. They are the dictator of this place. Tyrants. Is he still alive? I mean, it's been... I don't know how many days. Zero? How you doing? All right. Oh. Want some sploosh? Some more? Sploosh. Did you get a door? How's he gonna get a door? What is this? Oh. Sploosh. That's what I call it. That's how he survived until now. Tastes like peaches. How many of these you got left? That's the last one. That's the spiced peaches. We're gonna tell the warden exactly where I found Kate Barlow's lipstick tube. She'll be so happy. 
We won't get in any trouble. No, is this the boat that Sam was on? Oh, it's Mary Lou. Oh. God's thumb. You ready? It's a long way. How are you gonna scale that? Yo, you need a lot of training to get that finger grip strength to scale a mountain, man. And they don't have any ropes, no safety nets, nothing. Yo! Use your legs, use your legs! Man, they're risking their lives out here. Oh, the gash! Oh man, that's bad. Because he was holding the shovel? Almost there, come on! <laughs> Whoa, 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 zero! Whoa, 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 whoa! Zero, 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 zero. Got you, got you, got you. I mean, he's been eating sploosh for I don't know how long. Zero, zero. No, imagine you must if carry Madame Zaroni up yeah. the and sing while I drink. That's what I was thinking too. What if Zero is a descendant of? He is Madame Zeroni. Oh my god, how did I not get that? Madame Zeroni, Hector Zeroni. Oh my god. I forgot the Madame's name, that's why I forgot. So now he's carrying a descendant up there. Hector, wake up! Wake up! <laughs> what are you doing? Wait a minute. That's where Sam got his onions from. Both ways below, hungry and moving. Cries to the moon of Dang, I love how it all connects together. And now the curse has been lifted. Would you smell the shoe? Oh my god, honey, can't you just wait till I'm finished eating? Honey, I don't smell anything. What? Peaches and onions. That's the secret. Peaches and onions. Sam and Catherine, onions and peaches. Why are you snoring on you, man? I'm farting a lot, I can't sleep. <laughs> yeah, because they've been eating only onions. It's my fault you were sent to Camp Greenlight. I sold the shoes. I saw the shoes and I just... I didn't know they were famous. I got scared. Dang, it's fate. I ended up getting busted the next day, lifting a pair of shoes from a payless. It's destiny. I suppose uh, Stanley's court case took a while, so that's why he got there much later. Now the only mystery left is Kate Barlow and her treasure. I'm Stanley's attorney. I don't care if you are. You have attorney. no right. Come Good back here with a signed court order. What kind of malarkey is this? What are we gonna do? You'll do as I say. He's gonna be released. What did she say? What do we do? You'll do as I say. And what do you say? You didn't say anything either. <laughs> I just have this weird feeling. I feel lucky. You should. What do you say we dig one more hole? Ooh, Kate Barlow's hole. Okay. Ah, oh, she did find Sam's boat. It's so hot, Sam, but I feel so cold, Sam. I can fix that. You got five seconds to tell me where you buried the loot. I've been waiting for you, Trout. Oh, it's Trout. Must have married him for his money. <laughs> well, it's all gone now. It's dried up with the lake. Hasn't rained here since the day they killed Sam. Yep. The lake goes on for miles. You, your children, and your children's children will dig for the next 100 years. <laughs> Another curse. Start digging, Trout. Ooh. <laughs> That's crazy! Exactly 11 spots on that lizard. Dang, what a story this is. Multiple stories in one. <laughs> say what I say! Thank you, boys. You've been a big help. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> I'll just wait. The lizards are there to protect the treasure from the Walker family. 
You know how long I've been waiting for this? A hundred years. My granddaddy owned the whole lake. I'm tired of this, Grandpa! That's too damn bad! You keep digging! Maybe we should just shoot him. The lizards or the kids? I just want to know why they haven't been bitten yet. Oh, crap. Where's Stanley? I'll tell you. He broke into my cabin about an hour ago. I woke up and saw him running out with my trunk. This wouldn't have happened if he wasn't a thief. What? <laughs> That's a lie. I could send Stanley right back to prison if I press charge. It has his name on it. What? Oh, my God. You see? Oh, yeah. It's his great, great grandfather's. I have to get your inside. hand off. Listen, this don't. Is mine. It was on my property. And, and you are a thief. I can't leave without Hector. We'll take good care of Hector. They'll take care of him, all right. Would you please get me Hector's file? Get me the file of Hector Zeroni. Oh, I thought they burned his files. There seems to be no file of Hector Zeroni. Is that yeah. so? What kind of a camp are you running here? Marion Seville. Oh, crap. You're in violation of your parole carrying this weapon. Okay. okay. This facility is now under our jurisdiction. What? That fast? Come on, Hector. You come with us. Let's go. What's that? The curse is lifted. This land no longer belongs to the walkers. This is amazing. I love it. After a hundred years. Be careful out there in the real world, all right? All right, boss. Everyone's not as friendly as us. No, <laughs> friendly. <laughs> they don't want to talk. Daddy, won't you just open it? Just let me see what's inside, please. Excuse me? Ho oh, ho. He's gonna deny her even that. Whoa. <laughs> Half of whatever's in this box goes to my best friend Hector Cerrone. Did you say Cerrone? Sure did. <laughs> Millions. 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 Millions? He did find his mom. Hector was able to hire his own team of private investigators. Turns out his mom had been looking for him too. Camp Green Lake was closed. The boys released the time served and sent to real counselors. Stinky feet. None of his teammates ever wanted to sit next to him in the dugout. That's all over now. Thanks to Sploosh. Sp they named it Sploosh. <laughs> now, he really does have sweet feet. How do you know you tasted it? <laughs> oh, I enjoyed this movie. I really did. It. I love how it all connects. You know, the... Madame Zeroni. Actually, I forgot Madame Zeroni's name halfway through. I thought it was Madame Jerome or something. That's why I didn't react when Hector said that his name was Hector Zeroni. Because I forgot that. I forgot Madame Zeroni's name. I love how it was all interconnected because each one of these families, the Stanley, uh, the Yelnets family, the Zeroni family, the Walker family, uh, plus, of course, Sam and Kiss and Kate Barlow. Like all of them are just interconnected with so many coincidences and all this happening to create this movie, to create this unique story. So I suppose what, ha what happened with Stanley IV and Hector is destiny. Like they said, Madame Zeroni's curse was broken and Kissing Kate Barlow's curse ended because at the end, the Walker family lost the entire Camp Green Lake. And the moment they lost it, rain started falling. Rain hadn't fallen there since they shot Sam until now. So it's very interesting how they combine this reality with curses because, you know, when you say it's a curse, you don't even know, like, is it a real thing? Because at first you think, I mean, cursing someone with bad luck, does that actually happen or... You know, is it just a series of coincidences that happened with the Yonets family? But after seeing what happened to the Walker family, then you start believing, wow, these curses are actually real. And I really enjoyed how they told this story, how Hector was the one who stole the shoes, but then when he got rid of the shoes, accidentally involving Stanley and all that. I mean, I think this movie is just really nicely done and the story was 
told really well. And I also like how the past just connects to the future. The mountain we see in the past is God's thumb in the future. Sam's boat became the shelter for Hector Zeroni in the future. And Catherine's peaches, which was preserved really well for hundreds of years, was given as sploosh to Stanley and Hector to eat, to survive in that desert. Stanley Yelnet's riches that were stolen from him by Kate Barlow was returned back to the Yelnet's family. Like, I just love the many connections between the past and the future in this movie. I love this movie and I enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.